Did you know it was possible to make millions of dollars selling smoked meat and banana pudding every year? Well, this small local business out of Fort Worth, Texas has done just that. In just a few hours, they became a sensation throughout the Lone Star State, quadrupling their sales overnight. And by my estimate, they're making $50,000 every three days. Now, the restaurant is called Goldie's, and it's run by just five people in their 20s who have been friends since elementary school. And today, I wanted to show you how they do it, because it's incredible what small business owners can accomplish and truly shows that life can change in just a blink of an eye. Some of you might actually be familiar with Goldie's since their video went viral on YouTube just a few weeks ago. I ended up watching the entire 30 minute documentary. And since I can't help that I have a business mindset, I actually managed to calculate the revenue from just a few subtle clues throughout the video and from what they say. Now I wanted to rewatch it again, but this time build a spreadsheet to show you how they are actually doing it. Now, before we start crunching numbers, and playing detective, the reason they blew up is because they were mentioned in a very popular Texas magazine called Texas Monthly. They were ranked number one throughout all of Texas. And for those that don't know, the Texas Monthly is a magazine in Texas that gets over two and a half million readers every month, which means it's a very important magazine to be mentioned in, especially since every four years, they rank 411 barbecue joints all across the state and just list the top 50 in order. Now to start off our spreadsheet, we need to figure out what's on their menu. And if we skim throughout the video and zoom in, we can actually get a glimpse of their menu posted on the wall. It consists of meats, sides, and even desserts. And just to double check my work, I also pulled up a Google review of their menu. So let's add brisket, ribs, turkey, sausage, beef ribs, and all their sides to the chart. And let's not forget their banana pudding. Meat, as you can see, is all priced at half a pound, except for sausage and beef ribs. And their Google review menu says sausage is $6 a link. So we can also add that in. I I mean, we maybe used to do about 12 racks of ribs. Now we're cooking 40 to 50 racks of ribs. It's incredible that their business actually surged overnight from 12 racks of ribs to 40 or 50 racks that soon. We're only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but um, it's a long process to get ready for just those three days. That's also important to note that they're only open three days a week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until they sell out. So there's no real designated time that they close. We also know that most likely they're selling out all their inventory for each of of those three days, so that's also very important for our calculations. On well, Mondays, we're pretty much just doing a, a lot of stuff for the sides our desserts, we, we knocked that out too that day. We know that all Monday is prep day and we'll most likely get a lot of their inventory from that day. It's a lot of butter, but this is uh, this enough crumble for about 180 portions for the banana pudding. All right, that was pretty quick. Their crumble for their banana pudding serves 180 portions. Now we know from their menu that their pudding is sold at $6 and we know that they sell out. So we know that their revenue from banana pudding should be $1,080. I would also think that maybe they're portioning their sides for around 180 people too, but it's too early to tell and maybe there will be more clues later in the video. So for right now, I'll just leave it at 180-ish servings for all the sides. So every week we spend about eight to 10,000 alone on briskets. Jeez, $8,000 to $10,000 a week for briskets? I mean, if we knew how much each brisket weighs after it's cooked, we should be able to figure out how much they make since it sells for $16 a half pound. We make the sausage out of the scrap and aloe out of the fat. All right, so that's pretty cool. Their scrap is used to make their sausage. So it's as if they don't have any waste, which is good profit. They could either A, throw it out, or B, make another product out of it that they can resell. The best part is it's pretty much all profit with little expenses, unlike their other products. How many are you guys going to have to go through today? Uh, 120. All right, this is the information that we needed. 120 briskets they have to prepare. So all we're left with figuring out is how much they weigh after they're cooked, and then we can get their revenue. We do also know how much it costs them per brisket. About $66 to $83, since we know it costs them about eight to $10,000 for the briskets. The way we trim, we'll probably lose about 30% of what's on the brisket. When you put it on the smoker, it shrinks about half. At that point, yeah, you're down to about third original weight. That's how we calculate like what the prices of 
like our brisket is. There it is, the answer we've been waiting for. Now we can figure out their brisket sales. They trimmed 30% of the brisket and the smoker shrinks it by about half. So all we need to do now is figure out how much a brisket weighs raw or before it's cooked. And a quick Google search reveals a whole brisket weighs about 10 to 16 pounds. So let's figure they're all at maybe 12 pounds. So since we know it costs them about $8,000 to $10,000 for 120 briskets, I also found a photo where it showed the unit price for raw brisket is $7 a pound. So if it's $7 a pound for a 12 pound brisket, it's about $84. And $84 per brisket times 120 is just over $10,000. So it makes sense with their calculations. Now, in order to get the cooked price, they lose 30% of the trimmings, which leaves them at about 8.4 pounds. And that shrinks in half in the smoker. So each of their 120 briskets is about 4.2 pounds. So they have around 504 pounds of cooked brisket that they can sell at $16 for half a pound or $32 a pound, giving us a grand total of $16,128 and about $6,000 in profit on the brisket. I know that was a mouthful. Uh, we start sausage. So that's when we're doing about 200, 250 pounds of sausage. Wow, 200 to 250 pounds of sausage. That is quite a lot. I guess I know what we'll be calculating next. And then also that's when we trim all our pork ribs anywhere from 120 to 150 pork ribs. I think we also trim beef ribs that day too. All right, I guess it's actually the pork ribs, 120 to 150 pork ribs. I guess we're not doing sausage yet. But as for the ribs, we know that they sell beef and pork. And from a quick Google search, ribs don't really shrink like brisket does. And a rack of ribs is typically two pounds before it's cooked and they lose less than half a pound in the smoker. So let's say they lose 0.3 pounds from cooking, 150 racks times 1.7 pounds is 255 pounds. And it sells for $14 a half pound, giving us a total of $7,000. $1,140. Let's apply the same to the beef ribs, which is 150 racks, 1.7 pounds cooked, and 35 per pound gives us $8,925. Now that that's all out of the way, the last of the meats we need to figure out is sausage and turkey. Yeah. What do you use the tallow for? What is the tallow? Just to hold up the briskets over at and that makes them look shiny. Nice to know that they reuse the scraps to make tallow. That's a good way to recycle products. That's really good thinking. How many sausages total do you think you guys are making? Is that 480? 480, 480 sausages? And there's the answer we need for sausages. 480 sausages a week at $6 a link gives us $2,880, which as we know is all profit since they make it from the scraps. We do about 50 loaves a day people always come up and ask if they can buy the bread or like, no, we give our bread out for free. It's also pretty cool that they give out bread for free, but I don't know about giving out 150 loaves of bread during the three days that they're open. Like that must dig into their profits at some point or another. You know, it does cost them time, labor, and ingredients that they could be allocating to something that actually makes them money or profit. I don't even think customers would complain if they sold the bread to break even as people are literally asking them to buy the loaves separately. Seems Seems like a missed opportunity to me, but I do understand why they are doing it. And finally, the last piece of the puzzle is the turkey. These are pretty much done. Just wrapping up for the last bit of it. I just did. Most of the time you get like smoked turkey is going to be dry. Well, that really didn't help that much, although it does tell us that they cook turkey breasts and not actually uh, physical whole turkeys. Usually people get here around six to seven is where we get our first couple customers. How long have you guys been waiting for? We got here about uh, five after seven. Pretty incredible to have people line up out the door at 7 a.m. when you open four hours later. In an hour, we go through probably about 20 briskets, like 18 racks of ribs, maybe like five or six turkeys. One and a half, 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 two links, one beef ribs. 1.2 beef ribs! So your total today is 50. All right, that's good for our calculations. Five to six turkeys in an hour. Let's say they sell out in three to four hours since we saw how big that line was. That's about 20 turkeys a day or 60 turkeys for the week. Another quick Google search, and we know that a turkey breast is about 2.6 pounds raw or 1.56 pounds cooked. The 60 turkeys, which is a total of 93.6 pounds, which is sold at $14 per half a pound, gives us a total of two thousand six hundred twenty dollars and eighty cents. 
Another quick reminder that our prices were accurate to the Google review menu and that everything did indeed sell out. That's all the information we're actually given. Cheese grits or coleslaw? You said uh, here to go? Pound, pound, half. Three smalls. He just signed the screen. Now the last on our list are the sides. And since we know they plan for 180 portions of pudding, which are probably, you know, a small size, we saw the container. If we accommodate a few medium and maybe large sizes into the mix, I'd be comfortable saying that they probably portion out 210, maybe small portions, which could also be maybe 110 smalls with 20 mediums. And maybe it could be 10 larges. We don't know. Whatever the variation is, since we know all the sides are sold at the same price, if all the sides sell out and we have 210 small portions for $5 a piece, that would give us a total of $1,050 per side for each side. Now, if we add everything up, we get a grand total of $44,023.80. Now, I also read a review that said you could skip the line for a brisket for $165, which is kind of a markup and I understand it because you're skipping a line that could take three to four hours long just to get your meal. Now, if they sold all the those briskets at that price, it would bring their total up to $47,695.80. If they made that each week for the year, they would be making close to two and a half million dollars a year in revenue, which is incredible. They truly became an overnight sensation and had no idea it was coming. Now, if there's anything that we can take away from this video, it's that honestly, anybody can do it. Just, you know, a few guys in their 20s cooking barbecue uh, happened to be an overnight sensation just from a random stroke of luck and now here they are. As long as you believe in yourself and your product, you can truly make it. And you really don't need to be that big or worldwide. Just a small local business in Texas can prove otherwise. That means you can literally fail a thousand times, but you only need to be successful once. And as this video proves, it can literally happen overnight. Anyways, to keep this video short, let me know if you have your own small business in the comments down below, and let me know if you've tried this restaurant. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.